So I'm going to be talking to you about how central pontine myelinolysis comes in neuro-op. And you need to know about its cousin, which is extra pontine myelinolysis. So as it sounds like, it's a myelin disorder. But unlike demyelination, it's kind of an acute thing because it's lysis of the myelin. And of course, the prototype is too rapid overcorrection of hyponatremia. However, it can occur in other settings that you need to know about. And it doesn't have to be in the pons. So as you can imagine, the way the pontine myelinolysis comes to us is with ophthalmoplegia. And if you watch the other videos, you know that the pons is the final horizontal gaze pathway for eye movement horizontally because the parapontine reticular formation, the PPRF, and the sixth nerve nucleus live in the pons. And so when patients have a pontine myelinolysis, they might have a pontine eye movement problem. Their up and down is fine, but they can't look side to side. And that can be a gaze palsy, or a bilateral gaze palsy, or an internuclear ophthalmoplegia, or a one and a half syndrome where you have a gaze palsy and an INO, or any combination of those. The extra pontine myelinolysis, as opposed to the central pontine myelinolysis, is afferent. And the myelin that gets lysed is in the geniculate body. And so, as you know, optic nerve, chiasm, tract, LGN, and so extra pontine myelinolysis can affect your geniculate body and it can be bilateral. And if you watch the visual field on the geniculate body, you can see that the field defect in the geniculate lesions can look like an hourglass. And so if you have this bilateral hourglass field, that is a very suggestive field that this is a geniculate lesion. The other way the geniculate happens is involvement of this wedge rather than sparing of that wedge. And that's because the anatomy of the geniculate body spares or involves this central wedge, the lateral choroidal artery versus the anterior choroidal artery in the geniculate body. And so extra pontine myelinysis is the afferent manifestation of myelinolysis. Central pontine myelinysis is the efferent manifestation, the motor version, that's gonna be horizontal gaze palsy. So you have the combination of loss of vision, geniculate, hourglass, or Pac-Man field bilaterally, plus horizontal gaze palsy should suggest to you that you're dealing with a myelinolysis, either central pontine or extra pontine.